Hello YouTube, it's Katie again. Now, I want to say a word about gluten-free tortillas. A simple solution because personally I can't eat gluten and a lot of other people can't either. Now, corn tortillas are an easy solution. But the corn tortillas in the bags that they sell at the store don't taste good. I won't eat them. However, this brand, Maseka, is a corn flour. The only ingredient is corn that's been treated with lime in the whole process and stuff. They treat the corn with lime, but it's corn flour. This makes corn tortillas that actually taste good. At least to me, they taste real good. Now, for flour tortillas, if you make them at home, you don't necessarily need a tortilla press. However, if you're making corn tortillas because they have no gluten, they don't stick together as well as flour tortillas, so you will need it. A tortilla press to make the tortillas you take two cups of the maseka powder and mix it with one and a half cups of water that makes 19 tortillas which you know for me I never make a recipe so big that I need 19 corn tortillas. So I usually use half a cup or less of the maseka. And then I use a little over a fourth cup of water. Then I'll make about four to six tortillas, which is usually what I use. And then you divide the flour dough into little balls of dough. And then you line your tortilla press with either parchment paper or a plastic bag that you've cut the sides open. Because if you try and do this without the lining, you're not going to be able to get the tortilla off the press. Just trust me, you're not. I've made that mistake. So you line the thing. You just open the press up like this. You'll have your lining in here. You place your dough ball in the center and then simply close that up and smush. And you'll put back up. And you have a tortilla, and you place that on your pan, and you don't need any oil for this. A dry, hot pan works fine. And then you just cook it on both sides until it looks like a tortilla. And that's simple. It's healthy. You know, there's only corn and water in these tortillas. I suppose you can add salt and oil if you wanted to, but they taste just fine, way better than those packaged 
worn towards his. And it's cheaper. I don't know how many this makes or how much this was. I forgot. But it's significantly cheaper to just make your own tortillas and throw them on the skillet or a girdle or something. And then if you want, you can always freeze a whole bunch. You know, you can make the whole 19 or double it and do 38 tortillas. And then you can just freeze that. So, have fun with that, and stay tuned. That's my tip for today.